to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game two between Do Life and Fisheye. And actually, that proxy gateway, I'm going to admit, threw me off because I'm like, did I commentate this game before? Because it looked very similar to Doodle versus Advil. However, Do Life with the extremely strong response. This is going to be on Gladiator, which I'm not sure whose choice this was. As far as selection, by the way, Fisheye, pink Protoss, bottom right in corner, Do Life, bottom left in corner as the green Terran. Blue tile set, is, don't mistake it for one of the Blue Storm Eclipse, whatever. Um, Ascension, I should say. Natural expansion, pretty wide open. So you can see where Dragoon pressure could be solid here, but this is a low ground ramp spoke. So you can see where units positioned out here can be a little bit more defensive, but you've got these spokes all over the map that allow the high ground, low ground vision advantage, which you can see... I assume this is not Fisheye's choice, but because you can see as soon as Vultures get out on the map and start laying mines along these corners, it can be a big pain to deal with, even with Observers, because you gotta deal with that misfire rate in the mid game. And considering Do Life, I believe in even previous seasons, has shown a proclivity towards that early aggressive play, as we saw in game one, really playing it just about, I mean, really aggressively. Having that advantage in the mid game where vultures just slow everything down, allowing, uh, it could be it could be bad news is what I'm saying. And also, come to think of it, I feel like Dulife's playstyle might end up playing against Fisheye's playstyle really effectively because he likes going for the early game positional advantages more often than not, where Fisheye likes trying to go for that third nexus if he can sneak it. Fisheye scouting up right in corner first. He's going to end up scouting Do Life last. Do Life sending the three SEVs into gas. Maybe Fisheye can adjust some game plan. It looks like he is producing an initial zealot. Does have the assimilator behind it. But yeah, I'm hoping on this map that Fisheye opts for more early game Dragoon pressure. Maybe even 3-gate. Maybe even Bulldog. I feel like this might be a good map for that. Supply Depot alongside. Do Life getting that initial factory down. He's pulled two SCV off gas though, so it looks like he is going to go ahead and plan to grab his natural expansion. First Zealot now marching to meet the probe and get some harassment done at the natural expansion. Not exactly a seal here, but there is this gap that the Marine can shoot to deal with that Zealot and use it as a blockade in between. However, that Zealot might be able to get on top of that SV along the corner, shooting the gap now, able to get in. Mike, yeah, probe gets early marine kill, immediately cycling to that SCV. So, well, let's, but nice turnaround blockade by Dulife pulling four SCVs and actually pulling one of the SCVs out to make sure it stays alive. So, doing a great job linebackering another zealot making its way in, but that initial zealot taken out as the machine shop drops. And is he going to get an SCV kill? Ignoring that SCV. More SCVs coming to linebacker out. But another Marine kill. One last shot on that Marine. So that leaves two Marines to defend. Now mixing up with that SCV. Able to get... Uh, some bonus kills. So it looks like another Zealot's making its way across. Additional pressure. But the machine shop finishes. Two Marines still out. A third Marine in production. And a siege tank being produced. Fisheye actually kind of dancing the gap, debating whether he wants to go in or not. This is two, two on one. But thus far, and it, that was a decent amount of economic disruption. SCVs were pulled off pretty frequently. However, ooh, be careful there, Dulife. Walking up to the high ground, finding the Zealot there. The Zealot now just trying to delay that natural expansion as long as possible. Finally, an SCV from Dulife making its way to the bottom right in corner. A Dragoon in position. This is an inverted ramp map is the other aspect I should mention. So maybe this was Fisheye's choice. But a siege tank is now out. And this is sufficient numbers without the high ground advantage to press this back. So it's going to be a lone Dragoon eating a lot of marine damage. So front door looks like that is going to be grabbed by Dulife making up to the high ground. So a lot of the hard work complete now. Dulife able to sneak that SAV in. It looks like it's going to be a two gate opener range being finished. The Dragoon's returning to home base. But yeah, once they take out this SCV, 
I would love to see an additional Dragoon or two plop down. That was I, I should have mentioned that aspect before, is you also have that inverted ramp. Which, again, I'm hoping makes Fisheye a little bit more aggressive. It looks like he's planted the Nexus, however. That is going to be ahead of Dulife's command center. And actually, Dulife opting to upgrade mines. Rather than stacking resources, he does have a nice defense on his front. But knowing do life again, if he if he follows this up with aggression towards Fisheye's natural expansion, this is where mines out on these spokes start playing really strongly. And if you lose control of your natural expansion, that is an inverted ramp that you have to wa uh, walk up with reinforcements. And do life already positioning forward with five marines and three siege tanks, finishing mine. So off one, it looks like he wants to go for that one factory pressure once again. Fisheye this time does have the five Dragoons, but he's not taking advantage of the closer spoke location. Instead, is just staying on the home spoke. <laughs> weird. Uh, feels weird to say that, the home spoke. He is tacking on a third gateway. Observatory morphing in, and that observatory going to be key. You can see the mines already starting to lay out for do life. Gonna, I assume, mine the, the upper spokes, get the advantages where he can. Command center... About two-thirds finished as that Nexus is complete and that nat natural expansion being saturated. The Vulture is actually able to sneak across that lower edge spoke. You can already see, yeah, they just have mines along that initial pathway. Do Life pressing forward. And actually with the positioning of this, Do Life can just sneak into this upper edge and then go straight down if he wants to to avoid a potential misfire rate. Looks like he's thinking better of getting aggressive. Fisheye pressing in. Do Life holding... This left-hand spoke, which trust me is high ground. I know it doesn't exactly look like it, but right now, Do Life, with the second factory online, is already holding holding a pretty strong position. Now pressing forward, Mines Landing as an observer is coming in place, and Do Life potentially overextending a little bit here, losing a few vultures. Siege Tech takes sieging that back edge. The Dragoons have taken significant damage, though. So it's going to be five Dragoons versus two siege... Or, sorry, five Dragoons now versus two siege tanks. A mine getting taken care of. Fisheye pushing into siege tank land, and it looks like he is going to be able to clear out what's left there. So do life overextending. Honestly, I feel like if he just sieged up here and waited some for some reinforcements, instead of being quite so impatient, he would have been okay. But... Instead, it is going to be a siege tank reset. Four factories being placed for do life. So it looks like he does want to do that characteristic pressure. He's also, I think, skipped some SEVs in this cycle. Fisheye wandering in with that observer. Going to be able to confirm it. Now, what I want to see from... Fisheye at this stage is looks like he's going to grab that third Nexus. So upon seeing the four factories, he's going to go ahead, grab that third Nexus. This is where I feel like he needs to be aggressive and actually press forward and hold the upper spokes. It's going to be a good period of time, though, before Dulife is in a situation where he can start pressing. Second machine shot being tacked on. But it looks like he does want to get aggressive. Armory in place, but no plus one weapon cycling as of yet. And I don't think this... I think this armory is just for show at this stage of things, to be honest. I think this is just going to be four factories worth of pressure. Mine exploding on that Dragoon to the north. It looks like the Vulture going to go ahead and back off. An engineering bay floating forward to get some scouting information. But right now, Fisheye is going to have those three bases. He's going to have a solid economy. Two additional gateways tacking on. Actually, kind of want to see a fifth and a sixth. He does have... Zelt leg speed upgrading. Double machine chops pumping those siege tanks in the meantime. And I think Do Life now tacking on weapons one. He's been very, very aggressive with his movements thus far. So we'll see if he decides to wait for that weapons one before he goes for a push, which would be around, I believe, the 12 minute mark. So just build up a lot of siege tanks, a lot of vultures, just kind of plant some mines, make sure that. Units haven't snuck through 
in between and then go for the push, the natural expansion, or if he's going to go for a push prior to that, I'm not sure why I decided to click that portion of the map. Vultures are doing a good job of cycling through. I also like that Fisheye is kind of making sure that no ninja expansions have been grabbed. But Fisheye just macroing behind this, tacking on a fifth gateway and making his way towards Arbiter Tech. I don't think this first Arbiter is going to be in time to deal with the push that we're going to see from Dulife. It is just going to be four factories, however. Comsat from Dulife recognizes the third. Continuing to mine up the north. The Dragoons. Looks like Zealot's actually going to go ahead and mine clear to the north. Needs to be careful on that edge. Yeah, just making sure there's Clearing out the traffic at that location. This observer is going to be able to get a good look at the army's composition and size for do life. And in theory, I, I believe Fisheye's a strong enough player where he'll be able to compensate accordingly. First Arbiter on the way. Still want to see Fisheye have a more aggressive stance forward towards that northern spoke, knowing that Dulife... Actually, did he ever conform, confirm the fourth factory? Fifth factory tacking on. Not that far away from plus one weapons finishing. Significant supply lead for Fisheye, but keep in mind a good portion of that is in workers. Vulture sweeping in, taking care of that zealot to the right-hand side. Engineering Bay being assailed by these... Dragoon, so kind of a small victory. And Fisheye has confirmed that there's been no third base, no movements towards the third base either. So has to expect a push around this time marker. Plus one weapons finishing now. Do life. Let's see how many siege tanks he was able to stock. We're looking at eight siege tanks here on the front. I expect more to come. Control group and a half of vultures out on the field. Fisheye not being very diligent, however, about avoiding these mines. Fisheye going ahead and taking a fourth nexus is unconcerned about new life's push. Vultures sweeping in, able to get at least three, four probe kills. Five probe kills. Actually doing a good job of emptying this third base. Suddenly with that sweep of vultures, really nice micro on new life's part. Do life suddenly with a worker count lead before that cannon was able to warp in. Comsat on the front. And it looks like... Do so where I thought this was going to be a push because of the factory count. Or at least some more aggression and also knowing Do life's typical playstyle, it looks like he's just going to go ahead and maneuver out and grab his third. More mines being planted. As far as... Yeah, it looks like Zealot just wants to go ahead and sweep the mines to the north. Fisheye grabbing his fourth base. Plus one armor on the way. Looks like we do have a science facility and starport. As well as a second armory. As well as a fifth factory to go for more of that plus two weapons, plus one armor play. Near max, do life sneaking forward. Mining up to the north. And tank sieging on just short of that lower spoke. And again, starting to press aggressively forward. Might have plenty to do with Arbiters here. But does not have enough energy. I don't know that Stasis is upgraded. Never mind, Stasis is upgraded. Able to get... Three siege tanks and a Goliath, but that is going to be it as far as support. And I don't know that Dulife even needs to press this, to be honest. He can just continue to gather attack troops. Fisheye is going to be forced to respond. It looks like Fisheye moving some Zelts to the north wants to go for a potential two-pronged attack. Comsat's dropping. Now the Zelts sweeping in. Zelts coming from the north as well, eating a lot of mines on their way. The Vulture's positioning to the north for Dulife. Pretty good positioning, able to clean up a lot of those zealots, but zealots from the south able to get right on top of the siege tanks. But it is too much. Fisheye being backed out 
towards his natural expansion spoke the siege tanks that were stasis come out of stasis and that means there's going to be still seven siege tanks remaining in a position where they can potentially shortly move on to that third base second arbiter in production a bunch of gateways down for fisheye however he needs to get a move on with those troops as do life pressing into that natural Expansion spoke, which threatens both the third and the natural and troop movement out of that base. And this is why I worried about this as a... just feels like this is a uh, textbook map for Terran slow pushes like this. Plus one armor about to finish as well. Plus one weapons is there. The front gateway being taken out to open up space. To allow troops to get on the defense. Shuttle being loaded up. There are several Goliath, however, to repel that shuttle. However, currently they're focus firing. They didn't have vision, so huge zealot bomb. Able to wipe out a lot of those front siege tanks. More reinforcements coming in, however. The shuttle's now gone. The Arbiter looks like it was taken out by the Goliath. And do life setting up shop. Now on the high ground outside the natural expansion. And can just reinforce from this point. Force Fisheye to come to him. Another stasis that looks like it's only going to catch two siege tanks to the north. However, the siege tank count looking a little bit smaller. But considering the positioning of all this. I don't know that Dulife has that many concerns. A large grouping of troops moving out. The Arbiter now wiped out. So commsats aren't going to be necessary. For the front. It looks like, however, Fisheye has a superior army count. And just through troops that were pocketed to the upper right-hand corner, they're going to be able to sweep out and just overwhelm do life And break out. Fisheye now chasing down reinforcements. Clearing out mines. Two siege tanks going to try to re-siege near that third. Vulture's also planting mines up short. The Dragoon's pressing forward, able to get a mine drag into that lower siege tank. And Fisheye really pressing this. Continue to attack forward. Looks like the single siege tank coming out of siege. The Zealot's going to be able to take care of that behind this. Fisheye does need to worry about reinforcements going through mines here. The Goliaths, sorry, the Dragoons, going to be cleared out by Vultures before they're able to take out those SCVs. Actually, I take it back. It looks like there's just an overwhelming and plus reinforcements moving up for Fisheye. Losing a lot of troops to mines in between. And now Dulife in trouble. Needs to get reinforcements to go ahead and defend his third. It looks like he grabbed his fourth in the meantime at that 9 o'clock base. Is already escorting SCVs out. Might want to transfer these SCVs out. As the third base is now taking damage in the mineral line. Siege tanks using the command center as a blockade. And Fisheye regrouping. Currently with a huge supply lead. He's going to go ahead and grab his fifth base. Vultures are cycling with their way that direction. Now that Dulife has a moment's breath. More Dragoons, a probe, battle probe. Going to go ahead and group up there as well. Fisheye not able to get on top of these Vultures before they're going to be able to sneak in here. Might be able to take, so might be able to take out that probe, but not sure they're going to get a lot else. Dragoons attacking into that command center. Looks like Fisheye not quite able to bit babysit this attack force while he's dealing with these vultures to the north. And as a result, losing the attack army he had over Dulife's third. Dulife grabbing his fourth base. Level 2 weapons, level 1 armor now online for him. Versus level 2 weapons for Fisheye. Fisheye's Arbiter count a little bit low. No, looks like he does have a second Stargate, but it's quiet at least this moment. Dragoons cycling out to the north. They could press into that 9 o'clock base. Do life. Trying to keep an eye on Fisheye's army. Looks like three Dragoons just going to split off to engage the SCVs at the 9 o'clock. That's drawing the entirety of Do life's army to that location. So while this is happening, Fisheye's basically taking the entire right-hand side of the map. And he's just going to try to gateway man it from here. With 10 gateways. 
Main is mined out for both players. Natural expansion. Going to get thin. It looks like the Dragoon finally going to be cleared out at that 9 o'clock base. But a counterattack forcing a liftoff of the third and going to wipe out that command center. Need to stay on top of the minimap here. So do life now down to three bases, sorry, two bases mining. And considering how long that natural expansion has been mining, it's not going to be that long before that's taken out. However, do life bullying his way through this army to go ahead and potentially grab an additional uh, additional spoke probe imposition going ahead, taking a lot to the north probes, battling it up. A counterattack moving in in the form of zealots to that nine o'clock base. Huge stasis on the front, catching a lot of troops. So Fisheye now has two attacks going and another stasis going for a cleanup attack. Which I think between all those stasis is going to be successful and forcing a lift off at the nine o'clock location. Fisheye taking a big lead economically here. And do life losing troops here at the 6 o'clock location. Mines dragging everywhere. So they might be able to clean the Dragoons up, but stymieing this attack force. Otherwise, Zealots mixing it up. Probe sitting, making sure that looks like the Zealots going to go ahead and wander back out. Everything unstasising. And do life looks like he's going to be able to preserve some of the troops as they come out of stasis. Actually, not that... Fisheye needs to macro here. He's... Because Dulife not in that bad a position. He's not mining. But supply count's just about even. Zelt's still getting SCV kills. So Fisheye, if he can just macro, will end up taking this match. Zealots. Still getting some kills here at the 9 o'clock. So there's a probe in position to go ahead and grab that 1 o'clock. We've got another base coming online in the upper right-hand corner. That's going to be a lot of bases to work with. Fisheye has a 20 worker lead, however, is even on troop count otherwise. Yeah, and just needs to make sure these gateways are running and that he's keeping up with the two stargates. Right there with the macro cycle, you can see he's hitting 144, but it's going to be a minute before those troops are out. Dulife has a problem, though, where he needs to defend another great stasis from Fisheye. He needs to defend, preserve his army, and take out bases simultaneously, which is a tall order, considering he's at a macro deficit. Does have incredible upgrades to work with, though. Level 3 weapons, level 2 armor. Zelt's pressing into the rest of this. So Fisheye, able to inflict damage, might end up losing these troops, but he's cutting into Dulife's attack force. Which is his one shot to get back into this match. More vultures wandering out with another grouping of siege tanks. Yeah, Fisheye just needs to macro. Macro, 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 and he should be okay. Running to... Cut off troops. It looks like he's going to run headlong into some vultures on a cutoff route. Natural expansion is mined out now for do life, so he's only mining at that 9 o'clock base. Probes look like they're going to be able to slip through. And yeah, Fisheye, he's got the economy to work with, but is still... Maybe just doesn't have enough gateways. He just is not keeping up with the troop count. And especially with that weapons advantage, that's allowing do life breath in this match. However, it's still going to be a tall order to win this. A counterattack of Dragoons and Zealots trying to make their way to the 9 o'clock base. Mines wiping out a lot of Vultures and a Dragoon. So it's going to be a base trade situation potentially here. Dragoons turning around trying to defend Vultures to allow the Zealot to do the work. It's group attack. From the SEVs, look like they're going to be able to clear that out. But now Fisheye losing his base in the upper right-hand corner. And there's going to this base that's kind of pocketed in that natural. Is just moments for away from being taken out as well. Do Life has to worry about a counterattack now from Fisheye. Moving towards his natural expansion. Zealot's able to get on top of everything. No comsat. Finally a comsat. To allow the units to just attack what's in place. Stasis catching a handful of troops, but now Fisheye sending troops absolutely everywhere to just try to keep Do Life distracted. 
losing that upper right hand corner, but immediately replanting the seven o'clock base. So now we got three base, well, one and a half base Protoss versus one base Terran. Fisheye pressing into the natural, has the high ground dealing with siege tanks, and also has managed to force Dewlife to lift off at the nine o'clock. Attacks absolutely everywhere. Fisheye now backing out. Do life down to just 13 SCVs. So Fisheye can reestablish that 7 o'clock base. Get probes there. He's down to 25 probes himself. Should be able to take this match. It's turning into a rough one though. Do life is really making it hard to close this one out. Three siege tanks remain over the wreckage in that upper right hand corner. Do life potentially looking to regroup. He's at 42 supply distance mining at that mineral only now. And it looks like this could be a starvation match both directions. Somehow a probe stuck behind the minerals here at the six o'clock. Do life able to recap the mineral only. Siege tanks being hunted by dragoons. Able to get that one last probe kill. But now Fisheye with his double supply can retake territory. And all he needs to do is keep mining and macroing and should take this match. Do life scraping the bottom of the barrel as far as minerals go. Not out of it yet. Still has Siege Tanks and Goliaths that are heavily upgraded. Pressing forward. And they're pressing forward into mining bases of Fisheye. Fisheye getting a great stasis though. Once again. Moving Dragoons over. And this could be the killing blow right here. As he's pressing into that third base. Another huge stasis. Leaving this third base undefended. With those two stasis. Do life calls GG. Well fought. Top to bottom. Exciting match too. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Do life going up 2-0. Or sorry, Fish High. Is it tied? Yeah, 1-1. Fish High, Do Life. Moving into game three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.